In this video, we're going to show the layout options for pictures and some formatting options. So right now, this image is above this text. But I'm going to take it, I'm going to drag it just kind of down in the middle of this paragraph right here. So right now, we are on the first option, which is inline. It literally put this picture between the two words where I dropped it, and then there's all this space around it. If we click on this and we choose wrap text, notice what's now going to happen to this image is it wraps the images around the picture itself. If you don't like where this is actually like, okay, it's kind of hard to tell where the paragraphs are and how it reads across, you can always move it over. You just left click on the photo, move it over to the left. Maybe you want to move it over to where it's all the way over on the right. So you have those options. The other option is to break the text. So that will actually put text to where the text is above it and below it, but nothing next to it at all. The other options that you have are behind the text and in front of the text. These ones are a little, to me, iffy because now look, you can't really read the words that are behind that picture. And then if you choose in front of text, then you kind of can't see the words that are behind the photo. Neither of those are great examples, so I'm going to show you it a better example down here. I'm going to resize this document really quick to show you how easy it is to just drag a photo right from my desktop. And I'm going to drag it right on to the middle of this sentence. Notice it split up this sentence, which I don't want. So I'm going to left click on my photo. I'm going to choose this behind text option. For my photo, that's going to then change my words here to where they are back together again. And I'm going to put my cursor at the top hit the return button a couple times to bring this down onto the picture. Now this is great because there's a blue sky so it's really easy to see the text. You can come in here, you can change the color of this text. We can actually see it really well here but we can change it to like a white if we wanted to and use all the editing features we have. One of my little pet peeves that I will see a lot that people will do is that they will take and they will put words on top of photos that have like actual scenery on them. So like for example, these mountains. And now it's not as easy to read these words. So if you really have a picture where you don't have like a blue sky like this and you really have to put words on top of it, another thing you can do is highlight these words, come up to the highlight color, and then you can actually choose a color to put behind them. So now your words will stand out a little bit more on top of the photo. Again, though, if you have a photo like this, the best option is to put those words right in the blue sky without even a background on it, so it really looks good with that. The other option you have, let me insert a photo really quick because I want to show you the options that you have for formatting a photo. So let's insert a cat photo again. So let's choose this one, insert it in here. And so we're going to resize it just so you can see the whole thing on the screen. So I'm just going to drag these corners, keep it proportionate. So you'll see down here you have the three dots again. Click on these three dots and choose all image options. That opens this up over here to the side. First thing we'll look at is the size and rotation. If you have the lock aspect ratio on, if I come in here and I change the width of this to two, notice that it automatically changed the height because I have the lock, pat, lock aspect ratio on. I can come in here and choose specific range. Maybe I want this to rotate exactly 23. I'm gonna go back to zero. But you have those options. Remember the rotation you can also do from up top here. We showed that in another video. Then you have the text wrapping options, which we just went over using it at the bottom of the picture, but you can also do it from here. Recolor is kind of cool. You come in here and you can choose any type of color that you want to make this photo. So that's kind of a cool little option to play with little things to do with that. The last one is the adjustments. So maybe you want to adjust the transparency. This is actually a good option when you're putting words on top of a picture because you can make this lighter to where you still have an image but then the words are the main focus. You can change the brightness of this. Let's go ahead and move the transparency back. So you can see how you can change the brightness, make it darker the contrast. So you can have a few edit features, not as much as you would in a regular photo edit program, but a little. And if you don't like your 
changes you made, just click on reset and it takes the photo back to how it was. So these are the different options you have with formatting your images and the layout.